Hi guys, we're going to finish the painting now with uh, some mist and if there's anything else we want to put in it, we can do it. But I like to mist it up now for you. So this is um, uh, the part where you're going to use an old scruffy brush an old, uh, and it's dry and I got some tissue so that I can keep drying it off. So I'm going to show you how to do mist and how to dry brush. So what I'm doing is I'm putting some white paint on my brush and so I'm just putting, I'm tapping on some white paint, okay, and we might want to add a tiny bit of blue to it because we don't want it to be, maybe even a little bit of red just to give it a purplish look. All right, and more white. So now this is going to be our mist. So now I got paint on my brush and I'm going to wipe it off as much as I can because we got too much, it's going to be all opaque and it's going to cover up everything you did and we don't want that. Put too much work into it. So look how much I'm wiping it off. Look, see it's still too much. So wipe off as because you can always put more back on. Okay, so I'm wiping it off as much as I can. There's barely any left on it now, but when you push hard, it's some there. So I missed up, so you touch and you make these little round circles. And as long as you can see through it, then that's good. So you just go round and round and round circles and get your mist. Okay, I'm just making a little more thicker for you so you can see it on the video. All right, so I'm gonna mist up the trees. Go right over the trees. There we go. It's a misty old forest for you. So you add more paint, get the purplish white. All right, wipe it all off, all off as much as you can. Okay, and we'll put some more over here. See how it comes out so thick? So you really got to wipe it off, or you're going to get that big white blob that I don't want. But I'm just going to have to live with it now. So here we go. Putting in more mist. I'm getting all mystified. So there we go. So you put in the mist wherever you want it. If you feel, wherever you feel the mist is going to be, because uh, you can have mist wherever you want. When you're in the woods or in a forest and it's misty, it's everywhere. So, get some more. Wipe it off. And more on. And the mist up around your trees. You're just dry brushing on the mist. Okay, so you wipe it off. Put some back here. This might be a little bit of a task, but you, you will get used to it. And as long as you don't have too much paint on here, you, sh uh, you won't get those big blobs. I got mine are a little bit white, I find. I, I was trying to put a little extra on for the camera. So I find that um, when I'm looking at the videos, they're kind of dull. In some places, the highlights are. So that's why I put extra on. But um, if it, I'm not sure you know, if it's too much, if it is, then you just go ahead and put on a little bit. But this is the way you do it. You put paint on your brush, wipe it off, and put the mist down. Okay? So, we're going to get some more white paint. I ran out. And we're going to mystify our painting. Because if you get it too white, like some spots I got there a bit too white, then you can't really, it's really difficult to fix it. Because you're going over your whole painting. But we can fix it, as you know. It's, I'll show you now what I'm talking about, okay, after. But let me get some of this purplish, it might be too white too, I might have, but there we go. Some nice mist going on here. Let me just rub it on like this. Yep. Let me mystify everything and you can have some mist down here too if you want. Just put it everywhere. Wherever you think it's um, a misty night, that's all you have to do. Have some down here. 
I'm going to smoke by the trees. There we go. I know it's pretty misty, but I just wanted to make sure that you could, you know, see what I'm talking about. And you don't have to have as much as that, okay? Have as much as you want. But just make sure that you don't cover everything up, you know? Some of my stuff got covered up, so. You know, you can put mist wherever you want it. I'm just putting extra mist on there for you, so you can see I'm just dry brushing. Okay, so that's a, that's a lot of mist. There we go. So it's pretty misty. So um, if you feel that you, like if I, I think this is way too much over here. So you can go back in and um, put some of your grass back in there. And So you just go back in and get some of your grass. And just tap in some grass. What was there before. And you can tap in. And you can make some, and this one here, we lost our grass here. Just get a bit of grass there. Yeah. Oop. Oopy doop. There we go. And we'll get some green paint. And we will some grass back in there, some of the lighter grass. You lighten it up with your yellow. And when that dries, then you can mystify it again, put the mist in, and because uh, it was too much, you can always go back in and, you know, you don't want to be doing this all the time. You want to get it right the first time, but, you know, paintings are... It's a good lesson even for me to do this by accident, to have too much mist, because at least it shows you that you can fix it, and that uh, things happen, you know, and, um, and that you can fix it, as long as you get lots of patience. <laughs> so, I'll just get this going back up here again now, because I really like that up there. And I'll mystify it again for you now in a second. So, like I said, you know, you, you have a look and, and see what you like and what you don't like. If it's too misty for you, then you can probably go back in and take some out. You know, put your tree back in there. Like that. Um, you know, if you want to have more of your tree showing, just put some more paint back on there and take some of it out. All. Yeah. As simple as that. Just scrub, scrub, scrub. Everything is scrubby. I had to put in the edge there. So whatever you think. I got a bit of mist everywhere, so that's good. And we'll put a little bit more yellow up here. All right. So just use the same brush as you used before. I'm probably just grabbing a quick brush there now, but the, you can use the same brush as you used before. Okay. So here we go, and we can put a little bit of white up there and yellow. That'll really brighten it up. Now. And we'll put some more mist over that when that dries. You can scrub some more mist over that if you want. We have mist everywhere. So that's what you do. You can have mist just down in the back here if you wanted to, and not have it up here at all if you don't want it, right? So you can just, or you can have. Look at some pictures and see, look at some forests and see where they have their mist. I just want to put lots of it around so you can see what, how it works. So you just scrub on a brush with barely any uh, paint on it. And mist it. Just make little circles, push hard, 
little circles. There we go. It's pretty misty, isn't it? Anyway, so when that dries, you can go ahead and put some mist there if you want, or you can leave it open like that, you know, because the light is shining in and makes it look, you can put mist wherever you want it. Yep. And if I did a different forest for you, if I did a forest, um, like this one here, oops, say if I did this, this one here, now, you see those trees up and back, I can put some mist up there, just watch, so I got my mist, a little bit of blue, a little bit of white, you know, my purple. Wipe it off really good. Really, 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 really good. Really good. Okay. And you can put some mist right here into your trees. See that? That gives you a nice misty look to your trees. So you can make these trees that you made, in your, but don't, you know, like, so you make a forest of trees, like there, and you can put some mist in them. See how, if you don't rub off enough of it, you're going to get these big old blobs of white. That's annoying. All right, there we go. So it has to be, you know, not very much paint on your brush. You dry brush it, okay? Dry brush, dry, dry, dry brush it. See, so I put some mist into my, I might even put some down over the rocks there. From there, I'm going to keep putting a bit of mist. I'm going to get some more paint, wipe it off, put some more. All right, so there's a nice bit of mist. You can put it wherever you want. Mist anywhere. Look, you can put it down here around the rocks, wherever you think it would be. As long as there's not much paint on your brush, you get a nice misty look. See? So anytime you're doing a, a painting with trees and that, you can put mist in there. So that's your lesson for today. I hope that um, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope that you learned something, and and uh, and I hope that you can get your mist put it the way you want it. It's, I'm feeling that I got a little too much, but like I said, I was trying to just show you how to do to do the uh, the mist. So that's how you do it. Dry brush. Dry brush white with a little bit of purple mixed in with it. And dry brush. Okay, guys. If you have any questions or anything at all, email me. And uh, if you do your own forest painting with a mist. I'd love to see it. I'd love to see if this video helped you. So I'll sign off for now and I'll be doing another uh, request from somebody. I don't know. I'm going to pick it off my list and I'll do another request. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye from Alison Pryor.